After the Chosen One had been revealed to him, a whirlwind carried Enoch to the west, where he saw the secret things of heaven. He saw a mountain of iron, and of copper, and of silver. He saw a mountain of gold, and of soft metal, and of lead. And he asked the angel who went with him, saying, What are these? And the angel answered, These things you have seen, shall serve the authority of the Messiah, that he may be powerful and mighty on earth. Wait a little while, and all secret things shall be revealed to you. Things which surround the Lord of Spirits, these mountains of precious metals which you have seen, they shall melt like wax before a fire, in the presence of the elected one. Like the water which streams down from above, so shall they be weak under his feet. And it shall come to pass, that none who depend on gold and silver shall be saved. There shall be no iron for war, and no materials for breastplates. Bronze and tin shall be worthless, and lead shall be of no use, so said the angel. Once again, in Hebrew and Jewish teachings, the Messiah, the Elected One, and the Chosen One, are titles given to and used to describe Jesus Christ. These are only a few out of quite a number of other titles he is known by. After he had heard the angel, Enoch saw a deep valley with its mouth open, and all the earth, and the seas, and the islands, put gifts and all they could bring, into it. Yet, the valley would not be full. This is how the sinners devour without content, everything the righteous work at. Thus, they shall perish before the Lord of Spirits, and banished from his earth. Enoch looked closely into the valley, and saw all the angels of punishment dwelling there. They were preparing all the instruments of the Satans, the weapons of the adversaries. And so Enoch asked, For whom are they preparing these instruments? And the angel answered, They prepare it for the kings and powerful of the earth, so that they may destroy themselves with it, and so that they may be destroyed by it. And after this, the elected one will appear with his congregation, in the name of the Lord of Spirits, and the righteous shall be free from the operation of sinners. When he had heard this, Enoch turned to another part of the earth, and saw another deep valley. But this one was filled with burning fire, and he saw as the kings and powerful of the earth were brought and cast into the burning valley. Looking more closely into this valley, he saw great iron chains of immeasurable weight, and asked the angel, saying, who are these chains prepared for? And the angel answered, These are being prepared for the hosts of Azazel, so that they may be thrown into the bottom of the pit of hell, and be covered with rough stones, as the Lord of Spirits commanded. On that day, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Phanuel shall take hold of them, and throw them into the burning furnace, that the Lord of Spirits may take vengeance upon them, for their unrighteousness, and for leading astray, those who live on earth, so said the angel. As mentioned before, Phanuel is another name for Uriel. And after the angel had spoken, the passage goes on to briefly narrate the event of the great flood, which happened in the days of Noah, after Enoch had ascended into the heavens. In the time of Noah, the Lord of Spirits opened all the storehouses of the waters above heaven, and the fountains under the surface of the earth, joining the waters of the heavens with the water beneath the earth, the water above the sky being masculine, and the waters beneath the earth being feminine. With their joint ferocity, the waters destroyed all who lived on dry land, and everything under the ends of heaven. After all had been destroyed, the Lord of Spirits repented from his actions, and swore by his great name, saying, I have destroyed all those who dwell on earth, yet, it is to no avail. I shall not do this again to them. I shall set a sign, a sign in the skies, and it shall be my covenant with them, as long as the heaven is above the earth. And it was done. The Lord of Spirits set a rainbow in the skies, as a sign of his covenant, to never again destroy the earth by the flood. 
But speaking to those who displease him, the Lord of Spirits said, My angels shall take hold of them on the day of tribulation, and I shall unleash my punishment and wrath upon them. You, the mighty kings of the earth, you shall watch my elected one sit on the throne of glory, and judge Azazel and all his associates. All shall be judged by him, in my name. With that, Enoch saw as the angels of punishment went forth, holding scourges and chains of iron and bronze. And he asked the angel, saying, Where are they going to? Who are they going to scourge? And the angel answered, Each angel is going to the one they have chosen, and to their loved ones, that they may all be cast into the abyss in the valley. The valley shall be filled with those they chose, as well as their loved ones. Their lives shall be at an end, and their days shall no longer be counted. The angels shall march to the east of the Parthians and Medes, and they shall stir up the kings, so that they may rush out like lions from their dens, and like wolves from their pack. A restless spirit shall descend upon them, and they shall go up and trample all lands. But they shall not touch the city of the righteous ones. They shall turn against themselves, and by their own hands shall they fall. Man shall not know his brother, nor shall son know his father or mother, until there are corpses everywhere, until they have slaughtered themselves. Then, the pit of hell shall open its jaws, and swallow them up. And their destruction shall be final. The fires of hell shall devour the sinners in the presence of the righteous. And all shall fall down, and worship the Lord of Spirits, 